Yes. Yeah. Yeah, very good. This is cellular blue nevus. So the first thing is just like you pointed out from low power, these have a a, a bulbous or dumbbell shaped protrusion pushing down deep. They they kind of violate the rule that that we usually say that melanocytic lesions should mature with depth. That is, the cells get smaller and get arranged into smaller units and single cells that trickle between the collagen. This does the exact opposite of that. It's most cellular and heavy down deep, pushing down into the deep dermis or in this case the subcutis. Up at the top, it's less cellular, right? So that's very typical of, of cellular blue nevus. You may have one or multiple lobules pushing down uh, deep. Um, and even though we, we do call it a variant of blue nevus, there is something that seems to be different about these, both the cellularity and their cytology is different from a regular blue. They tend to occur in different places, like the, the buttock is a good site um, or on the trunk. And also, although this might be somewhat inappropriate, some of my former derm residents have likened the, the bulbous appearance here to resembling um, a pair of uh, buttocks. So if you find that helpful to remember, cool. If it's inappropriate, um, feel free to skip it. But in any case, I think that that's a, that is a, a clue diagnostically. We have kind of, kind of plump spindle cells or fusiform cells. They may look round depending on the cut, uh, which plane of section we're cutting in. There's, um, they're cellular, but they're not uh, very um, cytologically atypical. They're not pleomorphic. What? They have kind of a vesicular nuclei, like you said, with a kind of open speckled what? chromatin a little bit, very small punctate nucleoli rather than large nucleoli. You, if you start seeing really big nucleoli, you would want to think, you could think of a melanoma, a blue nevus-like melanoma, or um, a clear cell sarcoma, which used to be called melanoma of soft parts in the olden days because it can uh, stain like melanoma, but it has a translocation involving the Ewing's gene. That's a topic for another lecture, but in any case, uh, that's the features that you'll see here. But if you see a lot of atypia or, or big nucleoli, then you would get worried What's about a melanoma or maybe a, a clear cell sarcoma. Um, you can see some mitoses. What? You start seeing a lot of mitoses or atypical mitotic figures. That would also be a time to be worried, um, some expert consultation. Uh, the, there are is such a thing as an atypical What's cellular not? blue nevus, which kind of uh, has an overlap with melanoma and is a very challenging and that's beyond the scope of this lecture and, and is, I still find, very complicated in practice. The cellularity down deep is one thing. There um, is oftentimes a lot What's of not? melanin in melanophages and a variable amount in the cytoplasm. And the other thing is if you go, I find this a useful clue, if you go up What's to the top not? of these lesions, and out to the periphery, you'll see areas with much less cellularity trickling between the collagen, collagen trapping, like here, sometimes with variable amount of pigment, resemble regular blue nevus. Oftentimes the pigment I find in these is not as What's abundant not? as in like a conventional blue nevus, but so you, uh, we can't really see it on the scan, but What's if you look not? around in these, you will find little bits of pigment, melanin pigment here and there, but this, the cells What's and the not? cellularity and the growth pattern um, at the periphery looks more like a regular blue nevus. This case What's is not, not cooperating quite as much as usual, but I find that usually helpful. That cellular blue, if you go up to the top What's and not? out to the periphery, you'll usually find areas resembling a, a regular blue nevus. Um, so yeah, just recognize these and these, again, as long as they don't have any really atypical features, they are benign. I feel like What's people often do try to completely excise them, um, mainly because if you do a shave, you broadly transect it and you won't see most of the lesion. So.